this fella, well, any quirky animal really does it to me, particularly, particularly a big quirky bird. <laughs> I've been very fortunate to go to Australia one time. That was a, a really interesting trip. Maybe I'll say more about that sometime. It was a seven month away trip. Not all the time in Australia, we were touring Australia, New Zealand, the States. We got there by ship, it was a great time. But we met a lot of people, a lot of friends, and we were actually having um, uh, a meal at a restaurant, Terragal Beach, 60 miles north of Sydney. And you, it was a beautiful Australian summer's day. And you could see the beach with all the people. And I could see a dozen of these beautiful pelicans swimming along the, the beach, the, the sea there, just, just by the beach. And then there's a like a, a landing bay where they, what do you call it, where boats, they launch them, the little boats, concrete slope. And uh, these, these pelicans swam along and they all got out on this concrete boat launch thing, I can't think of the word. And I, I could see them all there, they were preening themselves. And I, I said to my um, lunch party, I said, you're going to have to excuse me for a few minutes because I just had to go and mix with these characters. So I, I took my camera and wandered off down the beach and knelt down amongst <laughs> all these quirky birds. And they were all preening and doing and every now and again they'd make a bit of a noise. And uh, they were looking at me as if they said, oh, yeah, yeah. it was beautiful. And I felt like, who's the photographer who does all the Litchfield <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that's beautiful, do that again, yeah, click, click, oh yeah, that's beautiful. And I got all these fantastic photographs of these fantastic pelicans. And then the question was, and I'm still on vacation at the time, so I wouldn't be painting anything for some time. But um, I was thinking about it, what, what am I going to do, how am I going to paint a pelican, what should I do? And then, a little later on that trip, we were in New Zealand, and I was outside a little jazz bar somewhere, with a street... It was barely wide enough to drive a mini down there, but there was a, a lot of chalk drawings on the street outside the jazz club tonight, such and such is playing guitar with so and so singing. And on this little lane, there was like a zebra crossing, but a miniature one. And it was really quirky, it got me thinking. And, and then I had the idea zebra crossing, pelican crossing, that's how I'm going to do my pelican. Um, you know, not everybody, I don't, I don't know whether everyone relates to the, the pelican crossing thing, but it was a, uh, a traffic safety thing when the automated zebra crossings came in, if you like. So the title was going to be zebra crossing, but I was going to put a pelican on it. 